Verstehe. Mm. I always put the top back on. And then I'm always taking the top off again almost immediately. Why do I do that? Am I worried about losing carbonation? Do I have some sort of disorder? Compulsion? Where my napkins go? I spilled one drop of soda on the desk and I got a... There we go. Happy Hump Day, everybody. It is Wednesday. We got a, we got a game tonight. This is the old logo. Everybody loves the old logo. Everybody loves the old logo more than the new logo. But they'll never go back because it would be admitting making a mistake. We got the Bobcats tonight. I like our chances. Timberwolves have lost four in a row. They did that a lot last year and the year before, but this is the first time they've done it this year. Hopefully people are angry enough to get really good tonight. We shall see. Kevin Love has once again gone out and solicited fan feedback. He made an appearance at uh, some, I don't know what kind of store it was, but he handed out a lot of tickets and signed a lot of autographs. I was off Twitter and didn't pay attention. We were at the Minnesota History Museum, as I said on Monday, I believe I said, where we not only checked out the 1968 exhibit, which you can see online at, I think it's the 1968exhibit.org. It sure is. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. We ended up seeing every exhibit in the place, which was three or four. There was one about the history of a particular house in St. Paul and all the people who had lived there from the time it was built through today. And there was an exhibit on the greatest generation. That was where Vern Gagne's 1960s AWA heavyweight championship belt was displayed in a case. I tweeted some pictures of it yesterday. I'm sure you saw them because you follow me on Twitter, right? And there was a playground type place for kids, which we didn't spend a lot of time in. And we went to the gift shop, and gifts were bought. Someday I'll give those gifts. I still haven't sent out my Christmas gifts to my family. Yeah, I gotta gotta do that. But it was a fun time, and because we overloaded on brunch ahead of time. We ended up being so full the entire day that we didn't even go out to dinner for Valentine's Day. We just ended up taking involuntary, involuntary naps side by side. Aww. Isn't that cute? So that's why I was off yesterday. I took the day off to go to a museum. Highly recommend it. So you can see I've forgotten to shave. That actually was uh, Cheryl's question on Facebook which I will look up now. First she asked what I was getting him for Valentine's Day. I got her... Do you see the sushi back there? The plush sushi? I got her the giant plush Tamago, which you apparently can't buy in stores anymore. I had to go to Korea and get it on eBay. But it arrived on Valentine's Day because I had that knack of timing. It also meant that by me going to the post office, I was late to brunch, but maybe she didn't notice. But she liked it. It's cute. It's got a little smiley face like these dudes do. And it's about pillow-sized. It's pretty nice. Um, I also got her some candy at the gift shop because they make some good candy there. Are you selling your hair in order to buy her a chain for her pocket watch? No. That's a good reference, though. Also, have you cultivated your mane in an attempt to conserve body through the rough Minnesota winters? Conserve body heat, too. It's like it's easier to just keep typing than to go back and correct. I suspect Cheryl is using a mobile device to enter this message. But uh, it's only a coincidence that I have long hair and that it's winter. The other deal is uh, usually I shave. I've been shaving. Today I haven't. But if I was really concerned about body heat, I would grow a much larger, longer beard. If you walk around Minnesota, there's some very impressive beards, and I could have one of those. But because I didn't grow a uh, proper playoff beard, 
for the Packers. I kind of didn't really have the the will to continue to grow the beard, so I need to shave now, though. Part of my problem is I don't get up early enough to deal with the whole shaving thing. It's probably why I only seem to wash my hair about once a week, too, because it takes forever to wash this much hair. Not so much wash as condition. Washing is pretty easy because it's all scalp. The amount of scalp I have doesn't change, but conditioner, you kind of got to try to get everywhere, especially, I guess, the ends. They worry about split ends. Can you see how? Well, they're not that split, actually. But like I said, it is coming on three years. It was just a coincidence that it was exactly three years between July 4th 2006, July 4th, 2009, the two times that I did get my hair cut, which actually Kim did, which is just kind of roughly, but you know, worked, looked okay. I thought it looked okay anyway. But there was a question, who asked it? I think it was Dexley's Midnight Jogger. He wanted to know a little bit more about the hair. He wanted to know if I was actually serious about whether I kept the last two ponytails I had. Yes. I have the last two ponytails, I think. Unless Kim threw them out and didn't tell me. It's possible. But I had them in a, a plastic grocery bag under the bed. And I liked that I had two of them because I felt that they could talk to each other if they had to. But pretty long ponytails. In fact, if I was to get it now, I mean, we're talking that much. And we're still five months away from July 4th, so I don't know. It, it just it comes... To a point where I just get sick of things and this is like, okay, I can't take it anymore. Cut it. But I still kind of keep it. First, I don't want to get into my eyes, so we got to keep it at least long enough to put back here. And usually it's about the same length all the way around, which means it ends up real short in the back. It's now 38 after the hour. But that's the story of my hair. An evolving, continuing story. Stay tuned to track the progress of my hair. It occurs to me I didn't tell you what time it was. It's a good thing you now know it's 538. It's currently 34 degrees. It's been rather warm actually. Allegedly it hit 40 today. I didn't see it. I'm wearing pants. But in the middle of the afternoon it started snowing. Great big giant fluffy fat snowflakes which was really unexpected because nobody told me it was going to snow. But because the temperature stayed above freezing the whole time None of it stuck to the road. It all melted. It's all wet now. And in fact, it's kind of almost foggy out the way things are going. So we're going to hope it's going to stay above freezing, at least till I get home. I don't want to drive through the ice. No treacherous glazed over freeways between the Target Center and home. So if it can just stay above freezing for the next, let's say, four hours, that would be fantastic. So let's get to the... Recent comments on the W. Staggerly wanted to know what I thought of the Grammys. I did not watch them. Is Nicki Minaj trying too hard to be Black Lady Gaga? No, I think Nicki Minaj is trying too hard to let us see how oddly shaped her body is. But that's her thing, so... I hope that doesn't make me racist to think she has a strangely shaped body. I think I'm okay. Was it okay to have a tribute to Whitney Houston, but then forget that Don Cornelius and Etta James both passed away? Again, I didn't see it, so I don't know. If they really didn't do that, that would be a shame. But that's the whole who will get the most applause who died last year, the whole deal. It's, it's, just, it's distasteful, and they probably shouldn't do it. But what can you do? Between basketball games, work, and uploading these videos, do you actually have any free time? Yeah, I have a lot of free time. I wasted it all watching television and being on the internet. What do you try to do in those rare moments of nothing going on? I try to answer your question before you ask it. Since it is Valentine's Day, what do you consider the greatest love song of all time? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. I'm not into silly love songs. I will say that uh, I like the one we danced to at my wedding. What was it? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, uh. I actually don't remember. I remember that after we were pronounced man and wife, they played This Is Our Year by the Zombies, which I really liked. But I'll get in trouble for not remembering. No, I won't. Kim's not watching this. 
Don't tell on me. Um, that's it. Which is good, because I'm over 10 minutes and i got to get out of here. We're going to go see uh, the Bobcats, Timberwolves. Hopefully we'll have some good Timberwolves news tomorrow. If not, I'll have to talk about something else. You can help determine that by leaving your comments, smart remarks, tweets, at the usual places. And if you don't know where the usual places are, you can start at crz.net. C-R-Z dot N-E-T. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching one more time.